Assalamu alaikum dear student how are you all i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to niebs home school i am nasima akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning ship dear student today i am going to take a science class for class 7 student student our today's topic is chapter 14 let us see today's topic at a glance our today's topic is chapter 14 the name of our chapter is change of climate and we also discuss cq creative question uh, 12, 12 number and 13 number based on our suggestion and here is your science book and this is the chapter 14 that means the last chapter of this book this chapter and we also discussed here 12 number uh, cq this is the based on your suggestion the, and here is uh, chapter 13 2 number cq so dear student let us start today's class at first we will read chapter 14 and then we will discuss our cq and here is chapter 14 this is lesson number 1 and 2 atmosphere of the earth you have learned in class 6 that the earth was very hot and the first stage of creation gradually it cooled down at this time light gases substances from the outermost part gases part that encircles the earth is the atmosphere you know that atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and oxygen besides there are moisture dust particles argon carbon dioxide and some more gases the earth attracts everything towards it due to this attraction gases of the atmosphere remains near the earth surface that is why atmosphere near the earth surface is compact as you ascend upward from the earth's surface atmosphere becomes lighter and lighter if you want to ascend to the peak of a mountain you will have to carry oxygen with you with you for breathing the atmosphere is extending to few hundred kilometers from the earth surface earth's atmosphere is divided into few layers first four layers are troposphere then stratosphere and then mesosphere and thermosphere if you can see this picture here is the layer this is the earth surface and then troposphere and then stratosphere and next is mesosphere and then thermosphere troposphere up to 11 km from the earth surface forms the troposphere this layer contains most of the essential gases like oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and water vapor in this layer all those things happen that influence life of human beings and other organisms such as cloud rain wind storm fog etc for these happenings troposphere is the most important layer of the atmosphere now stratosphere from just above the troposphere stratosphere starts this layer starts from troposphere and extend up to about 39 km from the earth surface this layer contains one gas named ozone this gas protects us from sun's harmful rays this layer 
or above these layer contains less amount of other gases of the atmosphere now mesosphere this layer starts from where stratosphere ends with increase in high of the layer temperature starts falling now thermosphere this layer is almost airless here temperature rises first so it is called thermosphere radio signal are reflected from this layer now lesson number three water cycle in environment you have learned water cycle in chapter 11 water cycle is very important for the environment say if surface water including the sea water doesn't evaporate and remains on the earth what will happen definitely there will be no rain no water in the river in that situation could we cultivate crops even we could not get rain water or water from the river for irrigation if there is no rain no underground water would be available what would happen if ice on the peak of the mountains and polar regions melts without remaining deposits there quantity of sea water would have increased that would cause inundation of coastal areas such as the southern part of Bangladesh natural balance is maintained between demand and supply of water through water cycle you have realized that there is a big effect of solar heat on water cycle any disturbance in water cycle will create problems for man and other organisms over raining may cause flood if rain water cannot pass speedily Flood visits our country almost every year. Similarly, raise in Earth's temperature disturbs water cycle. Now, lesson 4. Balance of carbon and oxygen in the environment. You know that organisms take oxygen for the purpose of respiration. After completing of the process, they release carbon dioxide in the environment. The plants take carbon dioxide to manufacture their food and in this process they release oxygen in this way a balance is maintained between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere this balance in the atmosphere is very important these two gases are essential for life to understand of these two gases one has to understand carbon cycle carbon is needed for the formation of body structure of all organisms carbon comes from the carbon dioxide of the atmosphere plants prepare glucose and oxygen from water and carbon dioxide of the atmosphere in photosynthetic process glucose is prepared by plants animals get carbon through food from the plants carbon from the body of organisms comes back to the atmosphere through three process firstly plant and animals at the time of respiration break glucose to produce energy using oxygen from the atmosphere and release carbon dioxide Secondly, when plants and animals are burned, carbon dioxide is produced and mixed up with the atmosphere. Thirdly, when plant and animal bodies are petrified by bacteria and fungi in the soil, they release carbon dioxide. Now it is clear that the plants collect carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and deposit it in plant and animal bodies through production of glucose. Carbon from plants and animal body goes back to the atmosphere in three ways. In this way, balance of carbon or carbon dioxide in the environment is maintained. Due to this imbalance of nature, the climate has been changed. Dear student, now 
we will discuss creative question here is 12 number based on our suggestion we have already um, provided you suggestion and this is the creative question 12 number and you can see here is a stem here is a card and it's emitting some smoke and this stem is P our A number question is what is pollution and B number is why is water pollution harmful and C number question what problem will P of the stem create explain and D number what sort of contribution can we do to solve the problems created by the stem explain with reasons now we will discuss about the answer a number question was what is pollution and the answer is when changes occur in different factors of environment the environmental balance is lost as a result unfavorable condition is created for man and other organisms this condition is called pollution now b number answer question was why is water pollution harmful the answer is water is polluted in various ways drinking polluted water people suffer from diseases like dysentery diarrhea jaundice typhoid etc in polluted water fish and other aquatic organisms cannot survive as a result balance of the aquatic environment is disturbed so water pollution is very harmful now c number answer the question was what problem will p of the stem create explain here is the p is this smoke answer is p of the above stem will create air pollution black smoke expelled from vehicle contain carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide etc when the quantity of carbon monoxide increases in the air it may cause diseases right from breathing problem fatal diseases like cancer sulfur dioxide may cause acid rain after mixing with air acid rains not only harm human beings aquatic animal are also affected it also damage damages the balance of the of aquatic environment as a result of increase of carbon dioxide temperature of the earth rose much higher scientists say that if the rise of temperature continues the average height of sea level will go up as a result the land of the coastal low lying areas will be submerged at the same time some areas will experience drought so there will be changes in local climate as a result not only human being but also innumerable plants and animals will perish from the earth now d number answer d number question was what sort of contribution can we do to solve the problem created by the stem explain with reasons the answer is we cannot live without air to live a healthy life we need pollu um, pollution free air so we should try to keep the air fresh and free from pollution we should take the following steps to present air pollution this will be prevent prevent air pollution one number point is to maintain healthy environment care should be taken to prevent air pollution it will be prevent trees 
should be planted around houses, schools and road sites. Three number, defecation and urination in open places should be stopped. Four number, smokes emitting from industries should be treated to make them pollution free before releasing releasing to the environment by using modern technology five number point is we must not use uh, defective vehicles and six number we must not create smoke by burning thing unnecessarily and now seven number point is household garbage and food remains should be thrown to a particular place and bury them under the soil not throwing here and there now eight number point is people should be made aware of the harmful effects of pollution and the process of conser conservation of environment now nine number point forest should be conserved it should be kept in mind that these are the habitats of different organisms these plants help us keep our environment pollution free now extra CQ this is the extra CQ based on your suggestion this is 13 number question and you can see here is a stem this is a cell now question a number question is what is cell and B number question is state two characteristics of plant cell and C number question is why part mark A is called the powerhouse of cell explain that means this part <clears throat> now d number explain the importance of organelle marked b in the above diagram that, that means this part now the answer a number question was what is cell answer is structural and functional unit of the body is the cell and B number question was state two characteristics of plant cell. Two characteristics of plant cell. One number is cell wall is present in plant cell. Two number point is stored food in plant cell is starch. Now C number answer. C number question was why part mark A is called powerhouse of cell explain. Part mark A is mitochondria small rod like organelles dispersed in cytoplasm of plant and animal cells are the mitochondria every mitochondria is surrounded by two layers of membranes outer layer is smooth but inner layer but inner one is folded in word like fingers mitochondria is the source of all energy used in metabolic activities in an organism. Energy is produced through oxidation and reduction process. For this reason, mitochondria is called powerhouse of the cell. Now D number question. Our D number question was explain the importance of organelle mark B in the above organ. Answer is organelle mark B in the above diagram is chloroplast. It is a part of plastic. Im importance of chloroplast in living cell is discussed below. The plastic which is responsible for green color in plant parts is known as chloroplast. The cell of green leaf, tender stem and branches green fruit contain chloroplast they are green because they contain high concentration of green pigments other pigments like carotene xanthophylls fucoxanthin are also present in small quantity and here is the functions to prepare carbohydrate food through photosynthesis and two number function is solar energy converted into chemical energy and three number function of B part is that means this plastic is to produce protein and fats with the help of enzymes so dear student 
I have finished my today's topic. Now I will give you SW. Our today's SW number is 19 number SW. And this is SW number 19. And your SW will be creative question. Let me see Q. Here is 12 and 30. CQ question answer 12 number and the sub number will be A, B and C. That means this, this CQ, this creative question and answer and sub number is A, B and C. I am repeating your SW, this is 19 number SW. And your SW will be CQ12 and some sub number is A, B and C. So dear student, I hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practice it at home and do your SN SW in your SW copy. And you will get 2.5 marks for each SW. So dear students, stay home and we'll see you again in our next class. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum. Thank you.